All right. Now, tonight in an exclusive interview with TV47, Chief Inspector David Miner recounted his harrowing ordeal during the Gen Z protest. A stun grenade exploded and shattering his forearms and leaving him dependent on others. However, the Chief Inspector exudes confidence, stating that after his full recovery, he will be back to serve Kenyans after acquiring prosthetic hands that is to aid his day-to-day -day activities. Our own Lennox Singre brings you this exclusive story. has been three harrowing months since that bizarre day in Nairobi CBD. Chief Inspector David Maina, a decorated officer of the Rapid Deployment Unit, found himself in the middle of chaos. What was supposed to be a routine crowd control operation during a fiery protest against the 2024 finance bill turned into a living hell. Minor forced to act, pulled out a stun grenade, ready to disperse the furious crowd. But then, disaster struck. He held on too long. A deafening explosion tore through the air, ripping his forearms clean off. In an instant, his world went dark. I removed the pin, but there was... I don't know, there was some resistance. Eh? That pin, there was some problem with removing the pin. When it finally got off, and then I was just about to throw my stun grenade, I just saw darkness. So I really don't understand what happened because this is something that I've used, I've gone through with them in a training. So what really happened is something they can explain whether. Uh, but uh, to me, I just, I'm re just referring it to an accident. The news was shocking. Everybody shocked, got shocked. That is from the family members, my workmates. They even, uh, those who know me, uh, my schoolmates, my former schoolmates, my former training mates, and uh, they, 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 they came to the hospital. In fact, there was a time that uh, they were only allowed to see me I think it was one minute per each individual because there was a lot of people who came to see me. They were really shocked, but when they came and uh, I really explained to them and uh, I had gone through some counseling and uh, I was really accepting the new normal. Now I'm somehow dependent. Uh, I'm not able to do some of... I know uh, uh, there's some whatever, but uh, given time, I know they will get on well. The respected officer known for his bravery was left a broken man. In a moment of confusion and horror, the grenade that was supposed to control the crowd shattered his body instead. Nilikuwa ni bleed sana. Na waliweza kuniwe kuniweka damu, kunichugulikia haraka sana. And uh, why it not for them? Uh, things could have been different. I think uh, with the professional uh, Professional doctors of all kinds uh, have met uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, uh, orthopedic surgeons, all of all kinds. Now, I'm going to advise Kwakira Mahali, and I'm going to When I mention the caregiver, I'm saying my wife, we have been with my wife in all this journey. I thank her for this. I'm a Kwana Mimi since uh, the first day. Got a Lipata and Lipata accident. And I'm a Kwaki in the Shubulikia. But about Manu Nigeria now, I'm still on that recovery process. Uh, the wood are healing. And uh, I'm following the doctor's advice. And uh, uh, still up to now, uh, they've not yet put on those. Uh, on, the, on, on those uh, gadgets to assist. And uh, uh, the doctor has informed me that uh, uh, these are going to be uh, to be put after I'm fully recovered. 
The day was drenched in rage, but was Maina Grenade meant to kill? Question swirl on the aftermath. But it was not meant to kill or to hurt anyone. It was meant to produce just a loud sound for the cloud to disperse. We know some of these criticism because some of them are from people who are ignorant on what is going on or what really happened. Uh, so to me, uh, the critic or the criticism, uh, I, I have just to ignore them because there are so many I have gone through some of them in the social media. Uh, maybe God, if they are insults, whatever. There are some others who know and they really sympathize with me or not really what happened. And so if someone gets to know the truth of what really happened that day or, or what we were doing, uh, I think uh, he cannot, he can understand more and, uh, and give a better version of uh, the, the, the criticism rather than the that generalization, many insults. Yeah. David Maina, once a fierce protector of order, now faces a long road of recovery. Yet, amid the horror, he tries to cling to the moments of clarity. This was not his first time using a stun grenade. He recalls using it before, even during a heated football match. I've used so many stun grenades, a lot of them. In fact, uh, because I've seen this on the social media, and uh, other media, and even uh, I've seen uh, it on uh, other other sites like uh, YouTube. You can remember the game, the football game that was played four months ago. I think it was on uh, on, on uh, that was on May, or I think it was on, on May or uh, April there. And uh, the goal my here were playing with uh, AFC Leopard, and when the game ended, there was some commotion. And uh, I threw one stand grenade that produced a very big sound, and it uh, assisted me uh, actually to disperse the whole cloud. Remember that was in uh, was in Nyayo football ground, and uh, it, 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 the, the, the cloud the the, the 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 field was full to capacity. And the crowd was able to dispatch with that with no question. So these are things that I've used professionally. It was just an accident that happened on that particular day. But was it just a bad day at work, or was there a fault in the device? Miner's boss, RDU Commandant Shamala, has come to his defense. We have really uh, trained our people to cap and or protect our government of our nation from getting into messes. And RDU being one of the units, which is a specialized unit for uh, public order management. Uh, we have our main trained uh, to better heights. From the time that I was injured, our officers were to raise up with Gari now, we can let Ampaka hospital, and Waka Kuja, Waka donate a dam, Waka Aza Kuniangaria, Kuniombea, Kila Kitu. The whole NPS uh, structure, Kutoka Ukoju, the former the former, the, the, the former the, the DIG of uh, APS, Nur Gabo, was there. The current acting IG, Afadema Sangeli, personally came to see me in the hospital. And, and many others. In fact, if I were to start mentioning them here, we can be here the whole day. So, Walikuja could uh, pay support, moral support. In fact, even the financial support we have become because I've been given him even money to support uh, my medication journey. Everything. Kila kitu nikitaka, 
logistics kama ni magari if my family want to be coach kama ni kutafuta because i have been even forced to change my school and um, my kids to school the department au ndio msaidia kunitafutia hata hizo hiyo shule remember this third term inakuwa na shida ya transfers but i was able to get a, a one of the best school uh, to take my kids ni shukuru mkubwa wangu afande agrim shamala commissioner of police eh mwenye tuko na hapa kama aladi combatant eh tumekuwa na yeye na ni mtu ananielewa sana hata yeye amepitia amepitia challenges mingi so nataka kumshukuru kwa sababu uh, ameweza kuni encourage na kufanya mambo yangu ikuwe rahisi while maina battles to rebuild his life the promises made to him hung in the air even the 1 million Kenya shillings pledged by the then CS for tourism Alfred Mutua remains a hot air well eh uh, have you been in contact with uh, CS Mutua he came to visit, visit me in the hospital uh, he also uh, when uh, when i was in the hospital he also sent uh, some uh, some of his people to come and see me we have been contact in communication even uh, up to now and um uh, i know uh, he has even uh, asked me to send his bank my bank account and i know he do cause he'll uh, actually uh, fulfill what he pledged as the dust settles and maina's story becomes legend the wounds both physical and emotional remains fresh will he continue getting the support he deserves or will he remain in the shadows of this harrowing ordeal of the ghost in the canister this is the exact spot where chief inspector david maina lost both of his hands during the jnc protest leaving him to embrace the new normal lenox sangre tv47 nairobi